Okay, so, uh, moving on to an act and another unfit. Only one of these games has been finished, <laughs> basically. But in the case of, like, Brew Tales, it doesn't really matter because the important parts are done. Um, this is a game that uh, is based on a Japanese idol group I have no idea about, except... Uh, Due to the fact that this was made in 2006, uh, everybody featured in this game is no longer with the group, because idol groups are just kind of like that. Okay, so this is Ai Takahashi. Um, I only remember some of the names of these people. Uh, don't really remember much about her in this game other than she has the funniest pain noise I've ever heard. Asumi Kano, um, she has a bunch of Makoto, uh, moves. As in, like, Street Fighter 3, not like Blaze Blue. This is my main, Nozomi Suji. She is a gremlin that basically has Armika moves, and she bites people while yelling Itadakimasu. And she's great. Uh, I forget this lady's name, but I guess her gimmick is that she's like a weird pirate of some kind. And yeah, the sprites are good, but they look... A lot of them look like they've been drawn by different people. Miki Nakasawa. I, I think the screen stretched a little bit. Hold on. Okay. This lady looks awesome. Uh, the only problem is uh, her... The sound bites... Oh god, this does kind of feel like an IGS game, actually. Um, the only problem is... Uh, okay, I, I should probably go into what I know about the actual people here. Uh, both this lady and this lady got into a bit of trouble with the idol industry. Due to the uh, mortal sin of having a life. <laughs> uh, this lady got in trouble because uh, she got pregnant at some point. And, you know, the idol industry. This lady got in trouble because she was dating somebody. Again, idol culture is dumb. I don't... Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, they, uh... And, yeah, uh, quite a few characters are for, uh, for Mugen have been made at this point. This lady's been made, this lady's been made. This lady recently got made. Like, a week ago. Uh, this lady's been made... This lady hasn't been made, which is a shame, because she looks really cool. Uh, this lady has not been made. And she's the one that actually got in trouble for something that is actually pretty serious. Um, long story short, uh, she was driving under the influence and hit somebody. Which, uh, thank God, uh, everybody survived. But she was just like, yeah, no, I'm just going to bow out of the entertainment industry after that. That being said, her version in this game is really cool. But... Also, she's like the best animated. We might have to take a look at her regardless. This was before the incident, so... Uh, she's been made? Uh, don't really... Eri Kamei, I think her name is? Uh, she's got kind of like a fox girl thing going on. Makoto Tamura, who looks like she's asleep. That's uh, really all I got there. I don't remember what this lady's name is, but I do remember she basically just throws giant hearts around and screams ha uh, happy a lot. This lady has been made. Uh, I found out about this game through this character because somebody, Val Gala, made uh, quite a lot of the characters from this. Um, and he made Kaori Ida here. And I was like... Oh yeah, she is very tall. Um... Yeah, I mean, like, Street Fighter 2 was drawn by several different artists, so, you know. Uh, but... Yeah, I thought this was just a One Piece character. <laughs> I don't know. She's cool, though. She has a bunch of, like, K49 and Cyclops moves. It's, it's odd. This lady's gimmick, uh, aside from she looks like an alt for, uh, for uh, Asuka from Tekken, is, uh... She throws corn? I'm not really sure. 
I actually really like playing as her, so. Uh, Reika Tanaka, I think her name is. Uh, don't really remember much about how she plays in this game either. Uh, I don't remember this lady's name, but uh, she has this, like, chain move where she keeps throwing punches with boxing gloves and goes, Mananya, Mananya. And she has a move where, like, she vacuums the opponent. It's uh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, God, I, there's so many people I don't know in this game. Kind of looks like Peep of Me. Yuka Nakazawa, one of the coolest looking uh, characters in this game. Also, the thing is, if you look at the real people, almost none of them resemble their appearances here. It's very odd. But, uh... If I had to do a tier list, Yuko would probably be at the top, because she has a lot of powerful tools. She has, like, the Charlotte, like, moving stab. She's got the Gainitz, uh tornado move. She's got the Kokodeskas. She's got a life drain move. She's got a projectile super that covers most of the screen. She's great. And, uh, those are our characters, so... I think I'm gonna play Corn Lady real quick. Oh, we're fighting Minyanyas. Also, I'm pretty sure all these voice clips are taken from, like, concerts and interviews and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, she hit <laughs> this lady today. Uh, <laughs> today, uh, <laughs> did a uh, collaboration with uh, Jonathan Davis after this. That's why she throws corn. Also, what I just did is her back dash. She just falls on her ass. <laughs> Don't know why. She has one of the best DPs I've ever seen in a fighting game. <laughs> she just kind of flutters. I feel like she's saying her name there, and it... I'm sure it's, like, annoying, uh... Annoying some viewers later that I'm like not getting most of the names right or anything, but I don't know shit about this group. Also, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put in the description of the video. <laughs> That's a good uh. Is the audio out of sync for anybody else? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, don't hit me with a concho. Hopefully, uh, that's not an actual problem going on. <laughs> oh, maybe it's like that, uh, freezing at the start there messing everything up. Okay, it must be like a... Okay, whew. <laughs> For being a weird, like, pirate... Tiny pirate, she has a way deeper voice than I anticipated. No, she's throwing salt. <laughs> I don't think that game would be that gross. Maybe Booby Tails would. Well, Booby's not, uh, Tails isn't really gross, despite the name. But basically, the, the order I did this game is kind of like in reverse order of how good I think they are. So this is near the bottom, it's still very good. That just goes to show how many good uh, Fighter Maker games are out there. <laughs> Ma'am, your corn. It's falling out. Oh, I can do that too. But yeah, I, I would honestly like to see more people playing this game. It seems really cool. 
it's sad that's not really finished or anything, probably won't be, but... Oh. Ah. <laughs> I just, uh... I can't tell if it's salt or rice, actually. Um... I just looked up, uh... Hello Project Battle Festival on YouTube, and I think there was a link there. Weirdly enough, I think I have, like, an outdated version. Because, uh, little gremlin lady, she has, like, different wind poses and an actual, like, KO sound in her Mugen conversion. I don't know if Valgala just had a different version of it or something, but... Also, this lady looks cool. There's a lot of cool looks in this game. Ah! <laughs> well. Also, this stage just makes me think of uh, Michael Jackson's scream. I don't know why. It kind of has that feel to it. Yeah, I think it's the only special intro in this game, strangely enough. The corn really does anything. Yeah, no, this and Booby Tails for some reason, right after round one fight, it just freezes for a bit. Is this that ship from the music video where a space octopus tries to screw the ship? Uh, you might have to refresh me on who made that one. <laughs> Yeah, right? I think that's, that's kind of what inspired Fighter Maker Mania, is that all four games being shown tonight are like chock full of personality. Uh, Space Octopus tries to screw the ship. Uh, you remember anything else that happens in it? Oh, whoa. <laughs> but yeah, it, do it doesn't feel like you get games like either of the games I've shown so far. I'll let you know if I think of anything, though. Does that cross up? There's actually a lot of really slimy tech in this game, for what I remember. Like, the little, the little gremlin has, like, the Armika, like, triple flying peach, but it tracks. So if you jump over it, she will just catch you with it anyway by turning around automatically. Ah! God, why is she so loud? Also, if you think any of these stages look cool, uh, and want them in Mugen, every single one of them have been made, <laughs> so... <laughs> See, that's- that's a basic- oh god! That's a basic bread and butter for, uh, this lady. Counter rules. Uh, Dong Dong was made in this engine, yeah. It's funny because out of all the Fighter Maker games I've played, I think if I had to rank them, Dong Dong would be like straight in the middle. It's classic, but there are like a couple of games that's just like I just look at it. It's like Dong Dong can never do this. I cannot wait to show you all Secret Meeting 2. It's like... When it comes to the Fighter Maker game, Secret Meeting 2 is by far, in my opinion, like, number one. Like, there's, like, nothing close to it. It's the most anime-ass fighting game i played, but it's all live-action. It's... <laughs> Ugh. But we gotta show Booby Tales first, so... Ah. 
That juggle move is so weird. <laughs> kind of reminds me a bit of uh, the Roberto uh, ball juggle move in Rival Schools a bit. Oh, here she is. And there's just a little wiener dog sleeping. Gotta got be quiet when we're fighting. We don't want to wake the dog up. Wait, is that... Oh, that, that's just a picture of the actual lady there. You can tell her because it looks nothing like her. <laughs> I think like non-stop for when I looked up was one of her catchphrases or something. But what I, uh, what I realized about this game is that it's the Def Jam Fight for New York for people really into idol music. I just like good fighting games, so this is, uh, this is right up my alley. <laughs> I like the soccer kick there, that's... Oh yeah, I still have to try Muscle Fight. It's like Muscle Fight, Arm Joe, um... Oh god, what was the one that Aaron sent me? It's like Metal Guns 3 or something. Axel City. Like, Arm Joe and Axel City have aesthetics that do not really appeal to me, but... I hear, uh... I mean, Arm Joe looks broken as shit, but, uh... Axel City's apparently got some, uh, what they call sauce to it. Didn't they make, like, another Axel City, too? Like, an Oh, God! <laughs> that super's awesome! <laughs> Oof. Yeah, yeah. I can kind of see that. Most of what I remember about Axel City is that it has a character I really, I really like. And her name is Cat Heart. And it's a, a design I shouldn't really like, but I do. <laughs> She's like the big Armiko looking lady. It's just, you know, it's... It's kind of like this conversation I had, like, a couple weeks ago, uh, with some friends, where I'm just like, I know that- Oh, whoa. What was that look? That was awesome! <laughs> what? Huh. <laughs> Flipping that later. <laughs> I feel like I should have kicked her out of that. Oh, uh, what was I saying? But yeah, I was like, the topic of Blaze Blue came up, and I was just like, look, I know I shouldn't like Makoto, but I do. And that's just kind of how I feel about Makoto Nania. <laughs> Also, when it comes to that roster, it's pretty slim fucking picking, so... It's like a... <sighs> they are, yeah. This was uh, made in the early... well, kind of mid-2000s. But they're probably based on, like, early 2000s versions, so... Oh yeah, I forgot that Them's Fighting Hurts kind of started on this engine, but kind of became something else entirely. And apparently it became much better after doing that. I personally never really tried it, because I, to say the least, I'm not a fan of Skullgirls, and it looks a lot like Skullgirls to me, so... I'm sure that a character whose name stands for Embryo Storage will be very popular and respected. Who- who is that? <laughs> who's- <laughs> I 
They uh, start. Oh, ES, I'd say. Is that what that stands for? Oh, she's uh, she's doing some like run dashes here. Oh, I see. I forgot that I kind of hate Bully's Blue. <laughs> Game? Oh. I wonder if that site works. Probably not. But basically, them's fighting herds uh, basically got the Star Gladiator treatment. Is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, this lady's animations, though, they're like so. <laughs> they're so above everybody else's animations. It's kind of insane. Look at that. Ooh. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the arcade path here. It gave me a credit sequence, and now I'm fighting a, a character I haven't fought before. So I'm just gonna run it to the end and see what happens. Jesus. A lot of boxers in here. Ooh. Is she a boss? Oh, wait, no, I think... I think when I was playing as this Omi Suji, I fought her like immediately, so I don't know. Maybe it's a post credits boss for this lady. Oh. What are you looking at? Okay. Ow! <laughs> oh! Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's... It, she looks very rotoscope compared to everybody else. It works really well, though. Like, her sprites are amazing. <laughs> that's the thing, I think some characters don't have win poses or win quotes or anything. It's just, you know... Why am I fighting you again? <laughs> All right, let's just run this to the end, see what happens. I, I want to see where this goes. That, I, I just kind of can't stop playing as a character. The salty run back, yeah. <laughs> she brought all these people into concert in the hopes that they would watch... <laughs> <laughs> that they would watch her beat <laughs> beat the other lady's ass. It's not gonna work though. I think she's charging up. The audience looks like it's about to make you sneeze because it looks like the audience is pollen. <laughs> Tis the season, I suppose. That super is really good. <laughs> Whoa! Boom, boom, boom. I think both Robo Ozma and uh, Kauri Ida got their uh, move from. Uh... Actually, it's hard to say. <laughs> it might all just be a reference to like a specific anime or something. What is happening? <laughs> We 
we're gonna run through it. I think, uh, how long did, uh, Spirit Warriors take? About, like, 40 minutes or something? I think, I feel like 40 minutes per game would probably be a good, uh, good outlier here. Or, a uh, good measurement. Maybe an hour for Secret Meeting, too. Because, uh, holy shit. You, more people need to see that game, like, immediately. And if, if, if I'm gonna be the one to do it, I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Corn Lady here would probably be uh, pretty high up on the tiers as well. Okay, then what happens? Oh! I'm fighting her, I guess. <laughs> Well, this has the, uh, usual fighter maker. Wait, does she have Suija stuff? Anyway, um... <laughs> or so, Getsu? Uh, but anyway. Uh, pretty much this game and Booby Tales are survival modes in themselves, because, uh... Like most fighter maker games, uh, there is no continue if you lose. So... I don't know why that's not a thing with the engine usually, but... She does not seem finished, because she, uh... Okay. God. Character is broken because she's beating me. Come on. Oh, she had a fireball that I haven't been using this entire time. Melly pulling a punk. <laughs> oh, God. Get your Sagetsu bullshit out of here. <laughs> Why is there just a giant explosion <laughs> for that? That is true. Who needs a fireball when you have corn? <laughs> Wait, stop. Ugh. Stop it, please. Wow, that is the first time an opponent has blocked that this entire time. <laughs> uh. Well. Does she have our work at least? Oh, she does. Alright, well. Uh, I think we'll play with... Uh, the choices are hard here. Kamwa plays the Menenya character. Then again, I probably should have picked the other gremlin. Yeah. Yeah, check this, check this move out. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is, uh, that can also just pull them in. <laughs> Why is that a move in this game? Her super sucks. I'm not sure why the suck. <laughs> Are like little birds flying out of there? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. 
Sadly, I think this is the only good move this lady has. I cannot find a single other move that she has, or super, or anything. Whoa! Fucking choke slammed me! <laughs> She might be low tier. I mean, that move aside, which seems very good. Is she a charge character? Or I can't... It is possible that she is just unfinished. <laughs> yeah, that's the Makoto stuff right there. She has it. Oh, yeah, that's the other one pose. <laughs> what a silly game. I love it, though. Oh, God! <laughs> right, I forgot she had that as well. I just noticed her walk animation. The banana. Is that like? Oh well. <laughs> the AI was doing like three of those boxing punches, and I can never figure out how to do more than one. Oh, okay. Jesus. I, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry, Yuko. I, I didn't... I don't know why they put Concho moves in two of these characters in a cast that is nothing but real people. That's really fucking weird. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay! <laughs> I just lost that one. Oh. <laughs> Hey there, and also, yeah, I, I, I don't know either. <laughs> it almost it sounds like she's yelling, put that down. I mean, she's not, obviously, but... Oh! Okay! Okay, she doesn't seem so bad after all that. <laughs> she just has a level 3 that is that. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't be too hard uh, stocking up meter anyway, because this lady's other super sucks. Oh, uh, she's drinking my life! Fuck off, you go. Jesus. I mean, if Hugo Nakazawa was in Morbius, I might watch it. <laughs> Thank you for the Yuri Sakazaki throw there. Yeah, like, a lot of the designs in here are really cool looking.
I don't know how I did the two, the double menene. Hey, just you wait. I have, I have three bars of super. That was more like I hit a pressure point in her back. Oh yeah. Damn it, she just hit me out of it. <laughs> Why did you have no clothes for <laughs> that super there? Ugh. Oh, that's a quarter circle. Okay. I think. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure the creator was just like, oh, there's actually a sound of her yelling, damn it. That would be perfect for my fighting game. Angel, we're fighting a fake city. I'm sure this is just like from a video of hers or something. I'm pretty sure all these are. Oh, there's running in this game. <laughs> As evidenced by her goofy ass run. I don't get the point of that corn. I don't know why it's a su super and not normal projectile. It didn't do anything. Get that core out of my face! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh, shit. I actually switched the... <laughs> Whoops. That was, uh... That was my mistake. That was not the game freaking out. That's just half of their life. That's, uh... Sheesh. Lots of DPs in this game. Some varying in usefulness. With that other lady, it's, uh... It's kind of her bread and butter, but... That's 50% welcome to the idol industry. Coco chan des. Ow. I feel like if he came up with some, like, good combos for this lady, that, like, vacuum pull-in move would be, like, really scary. Ah, I just wasted a bar of meter. <laughs> I just like her dreamy-ass, uh, ko ko sound there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, they didn't get her. What is MIDI doing? But Kauri Ito looks like she's from like a DS game or something. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ok, 
Can we get Rubel Ramen to uh, make CPS2 remixes of, uh... Yep, that's Optic Flash. She's Cyclops NK49. No idea why, but, you know, she is. Damn. Good. I hit 40 minutes with this, so, uh, I guess when we beat the game, or we lose, or what, uh, oh god, that move is, that super's hitbox is, wow. Yeah, I didn't notice that was a Terry one pose until my friend pointed it out. Ugh. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, uh, uh, Oni Chambara, is that what it's called? The, uh, yeah, the grappler lady from Dong Dong, I didn't see that. Okay. Well, that was Hello Project ba uh, Battle Festival. It is obviously unfinished, but it is a really cool game. Man, yeah, yeah.